you know, Mike did my podcast twice, and the first time he did it, Mike was like heavier. He was smoking weed all the time. He yeah. was so chill. It's like wow. It's like Mike Tyson is like such a sweet guy. And then Mike Tyson signed up for the Roy Jones fight. And yep. the next time he came in, he was 225. Yeah, yeah. Forearms were <laughs> jacked. And he was intense. Yeah. And I made a decision to make the table wider mm-hmm. on my podcast studio because I was so nervous being that close really? to him. So, yeah. So, I was like, I got to I gotta have a little just to separate like from really intense people so I can collect my thoughts. Yeah. He tapped back into that thing yes. where he had suppressed it. When you he saw him, and he was friendly, it. and he was yes. nice, and he was smoking. He, bro, he was still friendly. He was still cool as fuck. But this was the real Mike Tyson. But you, that was, but that was the guy That's because the he guy. tapped back into yep. that monster. He found it. We, because you know, you, oh, you, you gotta have the monster. You have to. In order to be a world champion in any type of combat sport, you have to have that monster. Yeah. A legit monster inside of you that doesn't really live in the real world because right. in the real world he doesn't work. Right. In the real world, if you can't put that monster away at times, right, you don't work in 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 life. You you're in trouble. All you're the in time. trouble all the time. Yeah, yeah. But that same monster, if you can control that motherfucker, oh. then you're Mike Tyson. You're Mike Tyson. But then that's why, like, he would see him skirt the line, right? Yeah. When he's talking to the reporter, that reporter, that that is still one of the craziest things I've ever witnessed. When he was on the stage, and the reporter said something, and Mike started talking about, if we were in jail, I would do this. It, oh, it, that's right. Oh, my God. I'd fuck you till you I'd love me. I'd fuck you till you love me. <laughs> Joe, how do I mean, what? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. But imagine that guy yeah. in that state trying to operate in the world with normal people like us. Right. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. He's in jail. Right. It's crazy. It's crazy because the thing that made him great could also run away like a wildfire and burn everything around him. And everybody. Yeah. And and when you're the man, and he was the man, then there, there's no restraints anymore, Mm-mm. which is even crazier. Because now you, you crash a Rolls Royce, you just give it to the cops. Remember that? Yeah. No matter what he did. take my car. I don't even want No it. matter what he did. Take the car. I'm yeah. fine. They hide everything. You know, honestly. Here it here, is. Here it is right there. That's it. He was like, I'm like your daddy. Let me Look hear this, you. Jamie. Give me some volume. Go, go from the beginning. He's like breathing heavy. Put your mother in a straight jacket, you punk ass white boy. Come here and tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. I mean. You faggot. You can't touch me. You're not man enough. I eat your asshole alive, you bitch. Fuck you, you hoe. Come and say in my face, I'll fuck you, you ass for everybody. You bitch. Come on, you bitch. You scared coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. Jeez. Uh, what do you say to someone? Matt, who is that guy? To, yeah. Who's that guy? Who's the reporter? That's what I'm saying. Like, But what did that reporter have to say to get that? Well, he said something that you should be in a straight jacket. Yeah. Wasn't this the one where Mike bit Lennox? <laughs> it, it, he bit a Vander. He bit a Vander. Bit a Vander's ear. But ear. didn't somebody get bit? In that was this? at a. That, that was when he was about to fight Lennox Lewis, right. I believe. That Wasn't press there conference. Like a brawl yeah. There was a brawl. This? That Did was someone a brawl. get bit, or am I imagining that? I don't. I don't remember him getting bit. I remember him biting a Vander's ear, and he they got into a bit of a Vander's fight. Ear. That was crazy. That was crazy. When he, you were you there? No, no, I watched I was, it on TV. Oh, I was about to say, that was crazy. That was crazy. He that was crazy. a chunk of his ear off. He couldn't beat him. Yeah. He couldn't beat him. Yeah. He was he was in a situation where he wasn't the man because he was so used to being the biggest, baddest mug in mm-hmm. there. And in a situation where he wasn't, he goes, I have to go primal. It's all you know. Wow. You bite a motherfucker. <laughs> Can you bit that motherfucker? <laughs> Can you? And Evander Holyfield has somehow forgiven him. Evander's amazing. Dude, he's the I love Evander Holyfield. How good was he? He man? was the best, bro. How good was he? How what a warrior. <laughs> he what was a warrior. Man. In those Tyson fights, because he had to endure. Yeah, he did. You know, I mean Tyson put it on him and he endured. All of he's them. So, remember those Riddick Bow fights? That's the My ones. God. The Riddick Bow fights. Oh now we gotta think like the Tyson fights after the Riddick Bow fights. Yes. Which is even kind of crazy. Riddick Bow was good. Riddick Bow was those good. Those guys were good. Those Riddick guys Bow. Were good. Evander Holyfield. He Lennox. bit his leg. Oh, he did bite Tyson his leg. Tyson was forced to pay he Lewis around $360,000 <laughs> for biting his leg. 
and the yes. brawl almost saw the mega fight canceled altogether. Yeah, he bit his leg. But that's the thing, right? Yeah. Like he had to, he had to do something. Anytime yeah. he was threatened, yeah, you, you know, it's like it's like when you're in in the wild, right? I watch a whole bunch of shit. It's called like one is nature is metal. Oh it's yeah, a, I love that's that page. That's a sick page, bro. <laughs> nature is metal. It's the craziest. It's shit. the craziest. Nature is so metal. It though. is, dude. Some of the shit you see on that page is nuts. But you'll see a bear, and it'll just walk around, and it just fucks everybody up. But then when there's a bear that's as big as it, it starts to question, and it might cower down. But in this situation, Mike Tyson's not going to cower down to right. Lennox Lewis, so he bites him. Right? He bites Ooh. him. He, he probably fell down. I'm going to tell you one thing, and I'll tell you this right now. When I was in that press fight with John Jones, I was still undefeated at the time. And we were at the MGM Grand, and he headbutted me, like put his head on me. So I push him. He's an alpha male too. So the fucker attacks me. Right. Right. So we get to fighting. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So we get to fighting, right? And we're fighting, and Joe, the security guard from the UFC, falls under me. But now I'm on my back as we go flying off of the stage. I will say that was a thought to bite the motherfucker. Because, like, <laughs> what am I doing on my back? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I'm losing. Yeah, right. I'm bite the son of a bitch. I ain't got no mouthpiece in my mouth. Oh. Like, and if I would have bit him, that would have been like a reaction for a guy that usually will walk around in most places around this world as the alpha. And then yeah. when he finds himself on the bottom as the right. alpha, he's got to find a way to survive. So that's what Mike Tyson would do. Mm. He would go as primal as he could think, how do I survive? It was always survival with this guy. Wow. 